Here are the formulae you will use when working with compound angles. We will get into more detail of how and when to use each formula as the lessons progress. When two different angles are added or subtracted from one another to form another angle, the new angle is called a compound angle. Consider the following explanation and decide if you agree or disagree. To work out the cosine or cos of 180 degrees, minus 60 degrees in brackets, you multiply the cosine into the brackets to get cos 180 degrees minus cos 60 degrees. Using special angles, you get cos 180 degrees is equal to minus 1 and cos 60 degrees equals a half. Simplifying, we get an answer of negative one and a half. The distribution of cos into the brackets is incorrect. A trigonometric ratio cannot be distributed to the angles that lie within the brackets. So cos of 180 degrees minus 60 degrees in brackets is not equal to cos 180 degrees minus cos 60 degrees. Hence, we can conclude that cos of alpha minus beta in brackets will not equal to cos alpha minus cos beta. We can prove using the distance formula and the cosine rule the following compound angle formulae for cos. Cos of alpha minus beta in brackets is equal to cos alpha times cos beta plus sine alpha times sine beta, and cos of alpha plus beta in brackets is equal to cos alpha times cos beta minus sine alpha times sine beta. Note that the original sign between the angles changes between the terms for the cos compound angle expansion. We can also prove, using the distance formula and the cosine rule, the following compound angle formulae for sine. Sine of alpha minus beta in brackets is equal to sine alpha times cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta. And sine of alpha plus beta in brackets is equal to sine alpha times cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. Note that the original sign between the angles is the same between the terms for the sine compound angle expansion. Going back to the opening example, we can now use the expansion of cos alpha minus beta in brackets is equal to cos alpha times cos beta plus sine alpha times sine beta. We can apply the rule to cos 180 degrees minus 60 degrees by realizing that alpha and beta are simply placeholders for any angle. Cos 180 degrees minus 60 degrees in brackets is equal to cos 180 degrees times cos 60 degrees plus sine 180 degrees times sine 60 degrees. Using special angles, we get negative 1 times a half plus 0 times the square root of 3 over 2. Simplifying, negative 1 times a half is negative half plus 0, since 0 times the square root of 3 over 2 is equal to 0. So cos of 180 degrees minus 60 degrees in brackets is equal to negative a half. In order to master this section, you must learn the four compound angle formulae, even though they will be given to you on the matric formulae sheet. You should practice with the formulae to know when to use it. We call these formulae the compound angle formulae, since the angle in question is not a single angle, but the combination of two or more angles. So how can we use these formulae to solve problems? Do you remember the special angles? Besides zero degrees and the multiples of 90 degrees, we referred to 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees as special angles, since we could evaluate the trig functions of these angles without using a calculator.
Now, by using the new compound angle formulae, any sum or difference of two special angles results in a new angle, which we can evaluate without the use of a calculator. Example 1. Evaluating trigonometric compound angles using special angles. Evaluate the cos of 15 degrees without using a calculator. 15 degrees can be written as a compound angle using the difference between two special angles. 15 degrees can be written as 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. Cos of 15 degrees is the same as cos 45 degrees minus 30 degrees in brackets. Using the compound angle expansion for cos of the difference of two angles, we get cos 45 degrees times cos 30 degrees plus sine 45 degrees times sine 30 degrees. Substituting special angle values in for each of the trig ratios, we get square root of 2 over 2 times square root of 3 over 2, plus square root of 2 over 2 times a half. Simplifying, we get the square root of 2 times square root of 3 plus square root of 2 all over 4. This is equal to square root 6 plus square root 2 all over 4. This is the simplest third form. Example 2. Using compound angles in reverse, rewrite cos 40 degrees times cos 50 degrees minus sine 40 degrees times sine 50 degrees as a trigonometric function of a single angle and evaluate where possible. Since we're given the cos cos sine sine expansion, that means we have the cos of a compound angle. We write the expansion as the cos of a single angle involving the sum of the given angles. In this example, remember to change the sign between the terms as we're working with cos. Cos 40 degrees times cos 50 degrees minus sine 40 degrees times sine 50 degrees is equal to cos brackets 40 degrees plus 50 degrees, which equals cos 90 degrees. 90 degrees is a special angle, so we can write cos 90 degrees equals zero. Example 3. Reduction and compound angles. Rewrite sine 110 degrees times cos 10 degrees minus cos 290 degrees times cos 80 degrees as a trigonometric function of a single angle and evaluate where possible. The example does require a little bit of manipulating. Before we can even consider the type of expansion, we need to express all angles greater than 90 degrees as equivalent acute angles, using the appropriate reduction formulae. Sine 110 degrees is written as sine 180 degrees minus 70 degrees in brackets times cos 10 degrees minus cos 290 degrees, written as cos 360 degrees minus 70 degrees in brackets, times cos 80 degrees. Using the cast diagram and reduction formulae, we can simplify as follows. Since 110 degrees is in the second quadrant, where sine is positive, and 290 degrees is in the fourth quadrant, where cos is positive, simplifying we get sine 70 degrees times cos 10 degrees minus cos 70 degrees times cos 80 degrees. Now, the expansion is starting to take one more familiar form, but since the angles do not match, it's not quite the form of a compound angle expansion that we recognize. So more manipulation is required. 
Recall that using co-functions, we can rewrite cos 80 degrees as cos brackets 90 degrees minus 10 degrees. From co-ratios, this is equivalent to sine 10 degrees. Hence, we have sine 70 degrees times cos 10 degrees minus cos 70 degrees times sine 10 degrees. Now, since the angles match, we have a form that we recognize as the sine compound angle expansion for sine brackets alpha minus beta, where alpha is 70 degrees and beta is 10 degrees. So we get sine brackets of 70 degrees minus 10 degrees, which equals sine 60 degrees. Using special angles, we get the square root of 3 over 2. Hence, sine 110 degrees times cos 10 degrees minus cos 290 degrees times cos 80 degrees is equal to square root 3 over 2.